Daylight saving time was instituted during World War I and World War II, and again during the energy crisis of the 1970s. The idea was that having extra light, later into the afternoon, would save energy by decreasing the need for electric lighting. Since then, every March, people turn their clocks ahead one hour and complain about disruptions to daily routines caused by switching from standard time to daylight saving time. But the effects go beyond simple inconvenience. Researchers are discovering that springing ahead is connected with serious negative health effects. Bethan Mallow, professor of neurology at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee, explained these effects in an article for The Conversation. Mallow and her colleagues reviewed the evidence linking the annual transition to daylight saving time to increased strokes, heart attacks, and teen sleep deprivation. Based on an extensive body of research, they believe that the science establishing these links is strong and makes a good case for adopting permanent standard time. Falling back, going from daylight saving time to standard time each November by turning the clocks back one hour is relatively benign, says Mallow. Springing forward is harder on the body, however. This is because our clock time is moved an hour later. In other words, it feels like 7 a.m., even though our clocks say it is 8 a.m. Morning light is valuable for helping to set the body's natural rhythms, it wakes us up and improves alertness. Although the exact reasons are not known, this may be due to light's effects on increasing levels of cortisol, a hormone that modulates the stress response, or the effect of light on the amygdala. In contrast, exposure to light later into the evening delays the brain's release of melatonin. This can interfere with sleep and cause us to sleep less overall. Puberty also causes melatonin to be released later at night, meaning that teenagers have a delay in the natural signal that helps them fall asleep. So, adolescents are particularly susceptible to sleep problems from the extended evening light of daylight saving time. Many children start school around 8 a.m. or earlier. This means that during daylight saving time, many young people get up and travel to school in pitch darkness. Geography can also make a difference in how daylight saving time affects people. People living on the western edge of a time zone get light later in the morning and in the evening, and get less sleep than their counterparts on the eastern edge. One study found that the western edge residents had higher rates of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and breast cancer. Other research has found that rates of certain other cancers are higher on the western edge of a time zone. Scientists believe that these health problems may result from a combination of chronic sleep deprivation and circadian misalignment, a mismatch in timing between our biological rhythms and the outside world. So, our daily work, school, or sleep routines are based on the clock, rather than on the sun's rise and set. Standard time most closely approximates natural light, with the sun directly overhead at or near noon. Based on abundant evidence that daylight saving time is unnatural and unhealthy, Beth Mallow believes we should abolish daylight saving time and adopt permanent standard time. Thank you for watching. Eliza Botticelli for the Neutronium Alchemist. And please, don't forget to subscribe. We can't go back. Oh, right? oh, God. Like a legend. God, I'm great. That was absolutely amazing. Christopher Lloyd is just a complete legend. and total legend. I still think daylight savings is so stupid. It's idiotic. Yep. Oh, yeah.